My name is Tim Wang. Uh, so I come from uh, IBM Systems. So the authors of this work are coming from uh, IBM uh, Research Tokyo Lab and IBM Systems uh, Performance Team. So uh, today we are going to, uh, due to the sh short time limit, I'm directly jumping into the topic. So uh, I'm going to introduce an enhancement based on uh, by locking in OpenJDK to uh, work better for a uh, a case which is called an infrequent lock contention that we observed in uh, some typical workload. Uh, so here is the outline. First, I will uh, try to introduce the background, particularly uh, bias locking feature in uh, OGDK. And then I will uh, bring forward the frequent, uh, infrequent contention scenario and highlight its impact to uh, bias locking feature. And uh, next, uh, I will uh, introduce our improvement in bias locking to make it bet work better for this uh, infrequent contention scenario. And finally, I will conclude with evaluations on uh, benchmark results. So uh, as we know, uh, locks in, uh, in, in Java is uh, usually uh, handled by atomic operations from uh, underlying hardware platforms. And uh, if we think about one case, which is that we know the contention is very rare, then those uh, atomic operation introduced in each lock operation is somehow a kind of waste of CPU resource because we know the contention is rare. So this is the case that uh, uh, bias locking was introduced in a uh, hotspot version. I remember version 1.6 to improve this uh, uncontended scenario. So that the rough idea is that uh, uh, when a first thread try to acquire a lock. It uses uh, atomic operation to set up bias towards itself. And in following uh, lock operations, if the contention is rare, then uh, the first thread can simply use uh, non-atomic operations to simply verify the bias. And sometimes when a second thread jumps in, try to acquire the same lock, then at this time, it requires JVM runtime to uh, kick in and revoke the bias. And it has to happen during the stopped word phase of garbage collection. So it is considerably uh, a little, uh, more, much more overhead. And uh, this figure shows the lock state transitions in hotspot. As we can see on the, on the left side, there are two states associated with uh, bias locking. So these two states, uh, as, as I just uh, uh, introduced before, so atomic operations are largely not being used in these two states. And on the right side, there are two, three states. They are associated with atomic operation. That is, uh, they require uh, one atomic operation for, for each lock uh, access. And we can notice that uh, there are two transitions from the left side to the right side here. And uh, one thing we can, we can get conclusion from this figure is that uh, those bias locking states, they are not uh, stable. That is, uh, once they uh, transfer from the bias states back to uh, atomic states, maybe due to revoke bias, there is no chance for the state to go back into a bias locking states. So it's kind of unstable. Now let's look into uh, what, what, what is called uh, infrequent contention. Uh, we found in a Hadoop MapReduce uh, implementation. So there is one case which is commonly uh, exists in a MapReduce uh, in paradigm. So let's take a map, map task for example, a map task has a main worker thread, which uh, constantly uh, get a row of data and process the data and then update the progress counter. Uh, so if this main worker works alone, then this progress counter is a perfect, uh, uh, perfect lock candidate for bias locking because uh, it, it is supposed to get benefit from bias locking. So if it is uh, protected by monitor, then the atomic operation cost can be 
eliminated by bias locking because this this worker thread has ex- exclusive access to it. However, there is another thread which is task reporter, uh, whose main uh, which uh, main 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 job is to uh, periodically get the progress of main worker and the report back to the application master. So uh, this is the mechanism for application master to identify the liveliness of this map task. So it's, it's important. This uh, information is very important. And, uh, and this, this every happens maybe uh, three seconds, every three seconds. So as we can imagine, every three seconds, the progress counter will be interrupted, uh, will be contended. And uh, this will lead to a uh, bias being revoked. And uh, the net result is that we, we typically uh, observe atomic operations during this uh, uncontended three seconds. Even, even actually the, the, the three seconds, there are no contention at all, but we, we see uh, atomic operations. So uh, this to work, work against this case for uh, bus locking, uh, we are proposing uh, a change in uh, lock state transitions. Particularly, we added two uh, to, to paths from uh, atomic states back to the bias states. And uh, this happens during the same phase as a revoke bias, that is during the stop the word phase. And one thing I like to highlight here is that, uh, as we can see on the on the right bottom side, there is a state which is called a heavyweight lock state. Uh, this state is a little bit different from the other two above uh, because it has a relatively complex data structure, and uh, that heavyweight state usually uh, means there are real contention more than more than one threads are containing for the lock. So that state uh, is not supposed to get benefit from bias locking generally. So there is no way to, uh, to add a transition from it to bias locking states. And the only way for it to get benefit is uh, through uh, deflation back to the unlocked state. And uh, this has something related with our second improvement, which happens in uh, the optimization. Uh, the optimization is a process to uh, actually to throw away some uh, uh, assumptions being made during JIT compilation. So uh, it's uh, it happens typically in uh, in workload, and the optimization uh, during the process unconditionally revoke all bias locks, and it will inflate all those locks. So inflate that means the lock states are transition are transited to the heavyweight state uh, that, that, that I talked before. And that state is, uh, is not good for uh, bias locking because uh, it cannot directly get benefit. So we looked into uh, the optimization handling and we found that uh, it is feasible to preserve the lock state across the optimization. Uh, there are main, main two factors, the first, Reason is that uh, garbage collection is uh, guaranteed to uh, not not happen during the, the optimization. Uh, the, the 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 second uh, point is that uh, we found some kind of comment in uh, OpenJDK source code. Uh, it mentioned that uh, there is a way to skip the inflate, and uh, and it, with these two factors, we we got some implementation which works. Uh, to, to preserve the, the state. And uh, the third improvement is the, I think is the most important. That is, uh, just as I mentioned, uh, we, we added two state transitions uh, in, the, in the lock states, but uh, that may cause some problem because the, the lock revocation overhead is uh, high. And if that, and in some uh, unfortunate case, that may introduce uh, some additional lock invocation. So here we have to narrow down the scope of our uh, of the two new transition. We we can only 
apply the new transitions on some particular locks that we identify, which is first, they have to be locked frequently, which is a, a guarantee that uh, uh, the gain, the potential gain may be high. And the second criteria is that uh, it has to be contended infrequently. So it is a similar guarantee that uh, revocation is not likely. So once we identify those locks uh, following these two rules, then we will apply the two uh, transitions during uh, stop the word. And this, this uh, procedure features low overhead uh, because we embedded the profiling logic inside of the uh, C2 generated method. And we just uh, turn on the profiling for each method for about one or two stop the word period. Uh, it's a very short time period. And we, we found that typically it will get enough data for us to identify the locks. So with this, with, uh, with these three uh, improvements, uh, we are testing our results. So on the left side, uh, we tested with uh, TPCDS using Hive running on uh, Young, which is Hadoop. Uh, since we found the infrequent uh, contention scenario in Hadoop, uh, it is supposed that we, we should observe some uh, typical uh, speed up. And we tested uh, 97 queries. Two queries we cannot execute due to a uh, high reasons. Uh, the average speed up of the 90, uh, 97 queries is uh, about uh, 5%. Uh, the best case is about uh, 17%. And we saw some case got uh, a little bit slow down, which is 2% uh, slow down. And we also tested uh, the uh, implementation with some other benchmarks. Uh, for example, uh, Dacapo, uh, Spec JVM, and, and uh, Spec JVB. So as we can see, uh, most of the results are centered around uh, zero. And uh, there are some particular ones we saw some uh, slowdown. So I will uh, go through each of them. Uh, the slowdown, the first slowdown was uh, from uh, Dacapo, I use search. It got uh, more than six percent slowdown. We looked into that uh, workload and we, we we took a breakdown of uh, statistics and we found that uh, actually uh, in this in this case there is not so much benefit for bias locking feature. So that means uh, those locks uh, cannot get benefit from bias locking. So our uh, effort to do profiling to to do those things becomes a uh, Overhead, pure overhead, uh, and and maybe we 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 created some additional unwanted uh, revocation, so that's uh, also makes things bad. the The second case is a uh, SCI mark in a uh, spec JVM. So we we looked into it, and it's uh, actually it's a uh, it's the reverse case compared with the couple, uh, because uh, in 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 this. Uh, SCI mark, although almost all, all those logs are being optimized by a bias locking feature. And we, we cannot uh, help calculate better. So in this case, also our effort uh, becomes overhead. So, uh, and the last, last uh, case is that spec uh, JBB, JMAX, that is the same, same reason as area search. Uh, spec JBB is multi-threaded, so bias locking is not likely to help much. And uh, we did a breakdown of uh, TPCDS uh, 97 queries. And we saw here, there are about six queries we got slow down and all the remaining, we got some uh, relative speed up. So uh, this is a breakdown of the lock uh, statistics in the best case, uh, in the best uh, TPCDS case, which is 17% uh, uh, speed up. So first we, we tested the query on the Spark, and we see that a Spark performs well because most of the lock operations are already biased by the default. By default, so we 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 cannot improve it better. So uh, and we we checked the the Hadoop. Uh, so as we can see, the both the map and the reduce, we can transform some of the uh, some of the orange count orange counts, which is lightweight. Uh, into the bias accounts. 
And uh, this is the, uh, the, the reason why we see a uh, speed up in the TPCTS. So uh, to, to summary, uh, we looked into how bias locking help uh, eliminate atomic operations uh, in face of uh, the, the, the contention is rare. And we also saw one, one case which is not addressed by bias, bias locking, uh, which is an uh, infrequent contention can make it, can uh, make bias locking work, uh, uh, invalid. Uh, and uh, we took a challenge to improve the bias locking, to improve the bias locking for this case. So we first, we uh, introduced a new state transitions and then we uh, improved the optimization to remove the block stones. And at last we use the low overhead profiler to identify uh, locks that can get benefit. And we, we saw on average uh, improved by 5% on TPCDS high running on the Hadoop. So uh, that's my talk. Thank you for your attention. Uh,